Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kindly here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls, continuing from where we left off at the end of the previous episode, we solved that puzzle. Well, I say solved, but we didn't really solve it, because we just kind of opened all of the uh, chests up to find the item inside. <laughs> well, I'll say it once again, I suck at puzzles, okay? I admitted that from the start of the game when we first came across a puzzle and I stand by it now. I suck at puzzles, so there we go. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, head over to the flag now. So straight down and then down the alleyway again. Right, which way is it from here? Uh, so straight down. Ah, signs. Reliable as always. Looks like the subway is that way. I've got a feeling something's going to happen here. God, it uses a lot of bullets though, but it is rapid fire. Right, let's have a look around. So remember, I don't need to open up those uh, chests anymore. have to do one of those uh, arcade machines again. Yes, I can see it. It's another arcade machine room. <laughs> the Monokuma kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Right, okay. Be careful so we don't get caught.
Oh, oh I got spotted. Oh well. I've still not done one of these. Like, every time I come across one of these puzzles with the singing kids, I've not done it. This is only the second time, like, but still. I'd like to do just one, come on! Finally a shop. Hey, welcome. Right, I'm gonna buy the ones they're recommending. Can't oh, I can do that. Right, that's on excellent. That's just on good. I think we should make it so that it's a high number. So let's do this for now. somewhere we can get into the sewer. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. Hmm? What about? Uh, um, you said I'm your friend? I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Of course um, it is. Okay. But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Toko, do you know what friends are? I don't think she does. Don't patronize me! 
It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends, become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... What? Never mind. I don't know. What the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. Mm, but that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I annoying, Kamaru, the way I am now? Don't I annoy There's you? There's quite a long I list that you friends. could use to define what a friendship should be, really. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? <laughs> Who the hell? Ah! <laughs> It'll be your nickname. Oh, I. I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Never? Not even as a kid? Well, I hope we get along together, Toki. Does she not like it? What happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Uh, it, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat. <laughs> Toki? Uh, no, no. No, it's it's too much. Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. <laughs> oh, I've had a few nicknames actually. Gadget Girl was one of them, which is where my channel name came from, because when I went to college I always came in with a lot of different gadgets like, uh, you know, various different music players and handheld consoles and stuff like that. So my, um, oh, I can't remember what t teacher it was. It might have been my technology teacher or something like that. He said, oh, you're a gadget girl. And it just stuck with me after that. And I was also called Cottontail at one point because I had short hair and I had to still tie it back in PE according to my teacher and because it was so short it just looked like I had a bobble on the back of my head with no hair in it <laughs> so people used to call me cottontail um Uh, killing one Monokuma and one child doesn't mean it's safe. Step away from the weirdo. Good honour though for killing a Monokuma, but she ended up killing a child as well. I suppose it's a kill or be killed situation really. Looks like we can't go any further. Let's head back. The bomb inside her, and it's the third one. Have we collected the previous two? I think we have, you know. Yumi Kayakuda, the girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. If I can just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. However, a new character who has feelings for Yumi appears, Moto Motomoto Nikaido? Your life isn't only yours. My love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of the fiery love story. Toko! What's going on? Amazing! 
Don't mess with me! Wow, she's really into this book. Toki, she doesn't like it. Oh. My, uh, one of my old friends. Why not? That looks unstable. I'm in a game, why can't I blow up this wall? <laughs> uh, one of my old friends. Instead of calling me Kylie, she used to shorten it even more and it would just be like, Hi, Kai! <laughs> oh, man. Just makes me laugh every time I think of it. Surely I can... Oh, here we go. It looks like another present. Yeah. This will probably let us blow up that wall, won't it? I think it's a truth bullet that can control monokumas by taking over their cyber brains. It's not really fit for combat, but that doesn't mean you can't put it to good use. For example, you can link that bomber monokuma and then use it to break open the wall. Also, you can release a link with the triangle button. Now your hacking gun can actually hack things, use it lots. Doesn't look like it'd do any damage. But it might be of some use. God, it's hard to see though. How do I? Well, I think I know what I was doing wrong now. I'm supposed to blow it up when it's there, aren't I? Rather than use its bombs. There we go. Now we can move on. Ah! Everything comes in handy if you use it right. I totally you misunderstood that. How silly of me. Oh well. Problem solved. place we can get into the sewers. It's nice that we finally got all the bullets, guys. Go down there. Yes, we can. Let's have a look at the map. Well, I want to go in the train first because there might be something in here.
anything in here, not even a shiny. Really? Guess not, guys. Let's just have another look down here. No? Wow. That was stingy. Okay, so there's a monokuma behind that pole. There's no way this ceiling is going to collapse. Right? Damn! There's no way they'd use the same tired plot device twice. I won't allow it. Why won't it hit you? The wall must have been in the way. Having their own little party up there. They're actually jumping on the bodies. Psychotic kids. Shoot him from there, not unless I can get up here somehow. Or shoot him from behind here, maybe. Oh, I can. Okay. I keep trying to use the bombs from him rather than just which way is it um, trying to explode them there'll be something hidden through here then fire skill. Oh, can't get over there. Let's have a look. Increases laser sight move speed. Oh, that's nice. Just missed it. What's through here? I 
Well, I think this is a good time to stop this episode here, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And, as always, thank you for watching.